Polistico. 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 It was seven in the morning in the sleepy town where time floated like a blanket of clouds in the sky. Mm -hmm. Windows yawned from houses wow. and made horizontal houses made of horizontal bricks in tandem with dogs that barked in cages. Beautiful. Children walked down the narrow street towards school. Their laughter trailed with a morning breeze. Mm. Women hung their morning wash, and men darted in and out from cars, sure. doors, gates, and carts. Polistico faced the window, ready for his morning ritual. He took three long breaths. Mm -hmm. He opened his mouth wide enough to welcome a straight, straight fly right down his windpipe. He shifted his position from left to right, then gently found his balance and placed his right hand on his diaphragm. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. <laughs> the cage dog howled. Windows and doors slammed. Slam. Polistico's morning vocalization exercise permeated in the air. He was a tenor in the church choir and everyone knew him, including the deaf flower peddler. He was respected and revered for his kindness and his Sunday choir songs, but his morning vocalization annoyed the neighbors. Martha, his fragile wife, was the only one amused and overjoyed at her husband's daily rituals. Her skeletal figure moved gracefully towards him as she ceremoniously handed him his glass of water and ended it with an applause. It was her daily act handed to their daily acts of tenderness in their 15 years of childless union. The couple lived in the old town from birth and had seen the same activities in the daily lives with his tattered leather briefcase bouncing up and down from his side. He was breathless when he handed his soup, when, his, when he landed on his swivel chair and pale as the white doily on his table. Paul, polistical, he uttered, he snatched his as he snatched another escaping breath. You, you are so lucky, he said. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Mayor, I'm not lucky. <laughs> I totally forgot last night was a big draw, and Martha did not remind me to buy a ticket, he said sheepishly. He ambled closer to the table and gingerly rested the morning paper on the mayor's desk. Mm -hmm. His pair of pants were oddly tailored, and the hemline, and the hemline polished the wooden floors with his hurried steps mm -hmm. towards put all my energy into my novels. Wow. And so I'm finishing a, a novel right now, nice. and I wish to uh, have it published, God willing, within this year. Would you like to tell us what it's about? Yes, a well, bit. a little bit of that <laughs> novel. The title of the novel is The Swallows and the Beautiful Man. Wow. It's a mm -hmm. metaphor, because it, the, the setting is in the Mission San Juan Capistrano, the Catholic oh, right. setting mm -hmm. in California. Mm -hmm. And the swallows, the legendary swallows, mm -hmm. that actually migrate every mm -hmm. March and goes back on October. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful man is actually a metaphor. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because the story is about a priest mm -hmm. uh, who did not know that he had fathered a child because when he met his uh, teenage love at the age of 17, mm -hmm. they got into this mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. But he decided thereafter that summer vacation to be a priest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this is a story wherein he decided to write his memoir. Unfortunately, his eyes was going blind mm -hmm. because of this very uh, severe uh, genetic disease. Mm -hmm. And he encountered a young lady who helped him enter mm -hmm. and record his memoir. Mm -hmm. And so by doing so, she discovered the secret. Very nice. Mm. Nice blood, right? That is where I cannot... You, you can't explain. <laughs> you. I think I know the secret, though. <laughs> yeah. But tonight I would like to express once again, uh, Monica, Monica, having known you, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. subsequent meetings, you know, I am very honored to be amongst this, all of you who are actually, I've always upheld the, uh, the, the Hindu or the Indian uh, yeah, yeah, the country, yeah. but per the, the literary complex, and I've always, I like Krishnamurti. Mm -hmm. I like, of course, the great Mahatma Gandhi. Yes. And so, but uh, Krishnamurti is one writer that I've sat to mm -hmm. try to understand. Mm -hmm. And to be amongst people tonight, you know, this is a blessing. It's true. Whatever you conceive mm -hmm. and you nurse in your heart, you finally achieve. Yes. And tonight, I'm honored to be 
with all of you all, it's our Wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's going to be a pretty hard speech to, uh, to, to, 